Between the 15th and 17th century, these very roads that we are driving today was an important transit point on the salt trade route between the dry saline lakes of Tibet and the Indian subcontinent. Bands of yaks and mule trains that made this grueling journey through the high mountain trails are being fast replaced by the jeep tracks threatening the medieval way of living that remains intact till this very day. The real adventure starts after leaving Kagbeni and you finally enter the Grand Canyons of Mustang where the jeeps are forced to plunge into the icy cold waters of Mustang River over 70 times along the 10 km trail. Narrow river passes, high towering arid mud cliffs and water rushing up to your bonnet will certainly put your driving skills to test and have you firing your camera at will. Driving thereafter is pure bliss as you pass through Tibetan villages with the most beautiful age-old monasteries that have lived through the moment of time. 4,000 meter high passes, ancient cave dwellings on interesting high cliffs and the endless arid landscapes. Popularly referred to as the Forbidden Kingdom, Loman Than only opened to foreigners in 1992 and its rich and flourishing history can still be seen today from its magnificent monasteries, palaces, remains of massive rambling forts. While the rest of the world moves forward, Loman Than stands still, caught in the moment of time. Despite the remoteness from the pleasures of modern city life, people are happy, content, satisfied. Much of the decision making concerning traditional matters such as festivals, land tenure and religion is still governed by councils convened under the traditional Lo Su Dun. But change is evident. This ancient village is already connected to China by a motorable road and the road connecting Lomanthan to the rest of Nepal will soon be complete. While it presents a challenge for preserving one of the last living museums of Tibetan culture at its best, the road brings development and hopefully more tourism. Mm -hmm.